Coastal Carolina once hired a millionaire former CEO of Ameritrade as their head coach. Joe Moglia was in charge of the Chanticleers when they made the move from FCS to FBS. He guided that, and that happened just four years ago as the Chants moved to football's highest level. But today is when the Chants really have a chance to move into the elite. This stage that Coastal Carolina will play on against BYU is the biggest one they've had in their brief FBS history. And the opponent coming up is one they've only known about for a couple of days. I guess you could say that convention is not the path for Coastal Carolina. And Jim Wojciechowski tells us getting there is not the idea. Staying power is key to prove that the Chanticleers are more than just another pretty mullet. Chanticleer is a proud, vicious rooster that rules the barnyard. He's the baddest rooster out there. The guy at my church thought he heard the word chandeliers. He thought people were saying, go chandeliers. Shonda Clear is from the Canterbury Tales, and uh, that's where we came from, Jeffrey Chaucer. Okay, now be honest with me. Have you ever read Chaucer's Canterbury Tales? Uh, that would be no, Gene, that'd be no. Chaucer knew a great story when he saw one, and the Chanticleers of Coastal Carolina are the baddest college football story of the 2020 season. Final score, Coastal Carolina 38, Kansas 23. What a great win for the Chanticleers. But chapter one of Coastal Carolina's story didn't start that way. I had it on my uh, screensaver. They had us ranked to be dead last in the conference. I know our team knew that. Our guys wanted to prove that, hey, we're not that bad. Coastal Carolina began the season with two consecutive wins, and yet, doubters remain. I just don't believe in the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers this year. Hammer the Red Wolves! Oh! The Shants are still undefeated, and on October 18th, were ranked for the first time since joining the FBS in 2017. I mean, look at us now. You know, they didn't believe in us, but they don't know us in the locker room. Obviously, we like having a good time. We play hard, but I think for the most part, they've been seeing that uh, we're a football team that likes to have fun. Rock, chalk, Jayhawk! Every little thing matters. As a way to motivate his team for every opponent, Coach Jamie Chadwell comes up with a weekly theme. All right, gentlemen, the word for the week is respect. His assistant coach has turned those themes into post-game celebrations. All right, we're playing for the mask. All right, player of the game, whoever's doing the fight song, they're going to have that honor of wearing the mask. I think it's a great strategy. At the beginning of each week, they announce the championship that we're playing for that week, and it changes week to week. We wanted to make our opponent tap out until you heard that, that bell at, at the end of the match because the team that we play, Georgia Southern, is, is a super physical. He had the idea that we were going to beat up the Eagle, which was the mascot. And the Chanticleers win it over Georgia Southern to improve to 5-0 and today. You had a Stone Cold Steve Austin character there, and the strength staff were the professional wrestlers. We have the Georgia Southern University Eagle! My brother, who's our director of player personnel, was the guy in the Eagle that took a beating. Took a Stone Cold Stunner. I just dropped the elbow on them. Um, the table broke in half. I think I broke my finger in the process. He gets put into the shot to clear clutch, is what we call that submission move at the end. I was thinking, like, oh my God, like, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. I don't know if there's many other teams that are having as much fun as the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers are right now. They play for each other. They're, they're playing for a bigger purpose than themselves. And when that happens, special things can happen. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.